Hello, my name is Hemingway Jones and I make videos about fountain pens, inks, journals and journaling for curious people. So welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to speak about a very special fountain pen and not just because of what it is, but rather what it represents. This is a limited edition fountain pen only available at Gold Spot Pens and it's a very interesting one that taps into a lot of different different themes. So join me today, won't you, as I explore the Bennu Phoenix Rising hand-painted limited edition fountain pen. I should mention that this pen is here on loan from Tom Otto. This one is number 12 of 125. And as soon as I'm done with it, it's going back to Tom at Gold Spot Pens. I don't know what they're gonna do with it once I get it back, but if you end up with number 12, you know it's this one. Thank you, Tom, for all your support of the channel. I appreciate it greatly. Ah, uh, Bennu Fountain Pens, a very interesting fountain pen company. Bennu was founded in 2016 in Russia by Kate Dmitrieva and Alex Semenin. To produce beautiful and striking designs that are wholly original and get back to the idea of fountain pens as works of art, but also to make them very affordable and very accessible. And in that, I think they've been largely successful. They use a lot of different materials, different acrylics with layers of embedded glitter and flakes and reflective materials and all sorts of interesting design shapes, geometries that really challenge your perceptions and your ideas of what a fountain pen is. I quite like that. I respect it quite a bit. In fact, everything they do is made in house except for their nails. They use the number six Schmidt nib on this one, but they use Schmidt nibs and um, that's the exception. In 2022, at the onset of Russia invading Ukraine, Bennu moved out of Russia and into Armenia, where they produce pens now, including the hand-painted ones, like this one. Bennu named their fountain pen company after Bennu, the ancient Egyptian god that was associated with the sun, with creation, and with rebirth. In fact, Bennu served as an archetype of the idea of the phoenix, with rebirth and rejuvenation, the idea that you can change your course in life and become a different person, a better person, a better version of who you've always wanted to be. A theme that very much resonates with me and something I talk about quite a bit on this channel, using journaling as a way to get there. So I love the idea that Bennu is encapsulated in the name of this pen, but also the idea of the Phoenix is expressed in this pen on the barrel in a hand-painted artistic manner. It's really interesting for closing the loop between the idea of rejuvenation and its embodiment. So what a fantastic pen to use for journaling. Let's take a look at this pen, unbox it, ink it up, and see what we think. So this pen does come in a nice box, nice packaging. So if you want to give it as a gift, then you have a very nice presentation here. It's all paper, but it's nice. I generally keep boxes in case I resell a pen or give it away or something, but boxes in themselves don't mean a lot to me. Nevertheless, we unveil this pen and it is stunningly beautiful. 
one of the things you notice first is just how shiny and polished this acrylic material is. It's faceted and each edge just glistens as it catches the light. It's absolutely beautiful in how it's expressed. You can see shining flakes of color and glitter at every level. And of course, painted on the barrel in beautiful detail, in multiple colors, in very nice brushwork is this firebird, this phoenix, this gorgeous bird with its wings spread and fire all around. And the material itself also suggests fire and coming out of darkness with the black background and the flakes of color that are embedded within. It is a strikingly beautiful pen that I could see would serve as a fantastic inspiration while you're journaling, that we're all striving to be better, to be more loving, more caring, more kind, more connected. It's a fantastic reminder of that each time you write. And as you look down in your hand, the firebird, the phoenix rising is looking back at you. So this pen is a cartridge converter pen, which is very nice because if there's ever a problem with the converter, you can simply swap it out for another one. And we are going to fill it today with an ink that I also got from Tom Otto over at Gold Spot. This ink is Call of Cthulhu, so why not put a little bit of existential dread to balance out all of this beautiful blossoming and rejuvenation. It's kind of a really nice compliment color-wise, so I think it's a fantastic ink to use. Clean it thoroughly because if even a tiny little drop of ink gets inside your cap, it's going to make you feel like your pen is leaking. It'll just spread forever until you clean it. So just clean up thoroughly and then you're ready to write. So this pen, is really lovely, very well balanced. It has a number six Schmidt nib, which is a very reliable writer. So let's see how it writes for us today. So this writes as I would expect a number six Schmidt nib to write. They are very lush, very free flowing. They are a joy to write with. It's a bit of a predictable writing experience, but that writing experience is really good, really smooth. There's not a lot of feedback. You don't get a lot of scribing noise, but what you do get is an absolutely flawless line that just flows freely, keeps up with your hand, keeps up with your bold writing or whatever else you're doing. It's an absolute joy. And I quite like writing with this pen. It feels very smooth, very precise, but let's be honest, you're probably not buying this pen for the writing experience. This is a decorative pen. It was hand painted. It's a limited edition. This pen was probably intended to be a collectible. It's so beautiful. You want to possess it. You want this symbol of rejuvenation in your life and you want to own this pen. Maybe you'll write with it a little, but I doubt this would be your daily writer. Absolutely fun to write with and a very beautiful decorative pen, but the decoration is certainly the highlight. It is wonderfully rendered, vividly captured, striking, beautiful, interesting. And I imagine since it's hand painted that no two are exactly alike. I mean, certainly with the acrylics that they use, with the different pieces of reflective material, the different glitter and whatnot inside, none of these pens are going to look exactly like the other. So it's very cool and fun and interesting and compelling to have a pen as unique as you. So this pen close is about 150 millimeters when you open it unposted. It's 140 millimeters. I don't recommend posting this pen. I imagine the edge of the cap could mar 
the hand-painted detail on the pen, and to be honest, the pen is long enough at 140 millimeters that you really don't need to post it. It fits very nicely in my hand. Even capped, this pen only weighs 26 grams, so it's a perfect weight for a pen. And the grip section's around 10 to 11 millimeters, so perfect grip as well. Just a very comfortable pen, very lovely to use. The facets on this pen are beautiful as they reflect the light, but they're not sharp. They don't bite into your Perlicue as you use this pen. So they're very comfortable. So much about this pen is very well done, very well rendered, very nice for writing. But as I've said before, it's so decorative, so beautiful. I don't know if you want to risk hurting it in any way. And this comes into play when we speak about the value. So this pen is a limited edition. You can only get it through Gold Spot. So if you love this decoration, you have one place to go and you need to go there soon because they have 125 of them. I don't think it will be around for very long. Nevertheless, it is a gorgeous pen. Just very well done, very well rendered. But it's $280. So $280 for a steel Schmidt nib would normally be something I would criticize, but I've seen Mackie E-Pens for $1,000 or more with Schmidt nibs at the DC Pen Show. So this is hand decorated. This is what you're buying. You're buying the acrylic. You're buying the idea of a Phoenix pen of renewal. If that resonates with you, then the value is there. If you love the collectability of it, then the value is there. Inherently, it's very reductive with any pen. You could reduce it down to its base parts. You could compare it to all sorts of different pens. Personally, I think value often is what ever I need it to be to make the purchase. If you're thinking about this pen and then you scroll away and then it just haunts you and you feel like you have to have it, then $280 is the price you need to pay to have this. Maybe you don't deny yourself if you're truly resonating with a pen that can inspire you to rejuvenate yourself and to aim for a better tomorrow. So what do you think of the Gold Spot Phoenix Rising pen from Benu in limited 125 numbers? Is it a pen you'd like to add to your collection? Let me know in the comments. When was the last time you bought something just because you couldn't stop thinking about it? You were obsessed. Let me know that too. I'd love to share that with you. I do it all the time. So thank you so much for watching. If you've reached this point, please consider subscribing. I go to some amazing places and I'd love to have you along. And if you want to support the channel even more, membership is available. Join the members and if you're a Cognoscenti or an Illuminati member, you can use your new Banu pen to write me a letter. You'd be in the pen pal group and we could have a lot of fun. So I make new videos all the time and I have a live show each Tuesday night at 8 p.m. So I can promise you one thing. We will see each other again very, very soon further up the road. So take care. <laughs>